Hello everyone, I am Saidi Bille. My today's topic is database language and especially we are going to see the data definition language. In previous video, we have seen uh, the number of database uh, languages, uh, four languages and we have already enlisted the number of statements which comes under these database languages. So now uh, we will focus on data definition language, especially in this particular video. The first statement which is under the DDL, it is SQL create table. If you want to create table in your database, so here is the syntax you need to follow. Uh, create table you have to write you have to write the table name uh, give any name to your table this is what the syntax then you have to specify the attributes uh, that is the column uh, name over here and in front of it you have to specify the data type for that so column 1 uh, data type of it column 2 data type of it column 3 in this way you have to write down the number of columns and of it a data type also so this data type of your columns may vary from one database to another suppose you are using the oracle database so number is supported in oracle database for integer value and whereas uh, int is uh, int data data type is supported in mysql so be sure which of the database you are going to use so here um, in this particular video i am going to consider the mysql and i have taken this particular example which will execute in mysql Suppose to create the table, I have uh, given one example. I want to create the table students. So here is the query I need to fire. Uh, create table students. The name of the table is students. Then the column names I have taken as ID, name, age, address. So um, for ID, I have taken int as a data type and I have applied the constraint that is not. That means the null values are not allowed in the ID column. Then the next column I have considered it as a name. Uh, the data type is where care variable character and have taken the space as a 20 it's not mandatory that you have to take give the space it's up to you that means 20 uh, bits or uh, space is allocated to name column so the constant which is applied on name is a not null then age is the column next column i have taken and the data type of it is a int address in the next column and i have taken the data type as a care and lastly i have written primary key that means i have to apply the constraint on the id column so i want to make the id column as my primary key it is mandatory to have the primary key in the table whenever you will create the database and when you will create the table in that particular uh, database so be sure you have created the primary key in that particular table and you have already you have created all these particular columns and if you want to see like how many um, fields are there what are the data type of it what are the constraint of it so you had uh, to fire this particular query that is this student if you are using the oracle database you can use a describe and the table name over there so here i have already have created a students table so i will just uh, write down the query like describe students so it will give me the information in tabular format in that tabular format i have the table uh, columns like field type of uh, that particular uh, field or the attribute then null values are allowed or not the list of it then the keys which are applied on that the default value if i have set some of the uh, default values and some extra so in this way i can get the information of the existing table suppose you want to create the table by using the another table which is already existing in that so here is the syntax for it create table table name as this is the keyword you have to use as is very important you have to use this particular keyword then which of the column we have to consider over here from the old table you have to write down the list of the columns in front of select clause select column one column two from old table name and if you have specific conditions you can put it in a where clause so here is the example of uh, how to create the table by using another table create table employee copy this is the new table which i am creating from the existing table employee create table employee copy as select employee id first name email from employee so in this particular uh, query from the employees table which is old table i have uh, taking employee id first name and email three columns uh, in a new table that is employee copy if you want to create uh, the primary key with the create table statement here is the syntax of it already we have seen how to create the primary key again uh, if you consider the second example that is i want to create the table employee so in this way you can write the uh, query employee id not null first name last name and the city these are the attributes i have taken and lastly i have mentioned the primary key on a employee id uh, you can write the primary key or you can define the primary key in front of the column or definition like employee id not null instead of it you can write the primary key also over there then uh, there are some different uh, statements which are used suppose you want to modify or you have to add some columns in a statement uh, or in a um, sql uh, existing table then this is what the syntax syntax of alter table add a column statement in a 
sql so in this way here is the syntax alter table you have to write the table name add this is the keyword add column name and the column definition uh, it, it, by executing this particular query you can add the columns in a existing table then uh, here is the example of it already i have the table which has the columns car name car color and car cost which belongs to the table cars now if i want to add uh, the column uh, car model in this particular existing table so it's possible by using the alter statement so i'll write the command like alter table cars add car model is what the my new column which i want to add and the where car is the data type of it so in this way i will add the car model column on in the existing table that is cars then the next command is alter table modify so if you want to some uh, modify some of the things like if you later on you know, by after creation of the table you remember that uh, we need to change the data type of it or you have to apply some constraint you need to modify the something which is already in the particular table then it is possible by using the modify statement so this is what the syntax alter table you have to write down the table name modify uh, the column which we want to call, uh, modify you have to write down the name of that particular column column name and the definition so in this way you can uh, modify the existing column then the next statement we are going to see is the drop and the rename so uh, once you uh, execute the drop statement uh, so be sure you are very carefully you are uh, executing this particular statement because once you execute the drop statement it won't be recovered or it won't be rolled back uh, so syntax for um, alter uh, table drop is alter table table name drop and the column column name so in this way you can delete the you can drop the columns also uh, suppose you want to rename the columns in uh, sql so how you will write the query alter table table name rename column from old to new you have to write the old column name to new column name so in this way you can rename the existing columns then uh, sql drop sql drop table earlier we have seen the drop column now we will see the drop table sql drop table statement is used to delete the table definition means the structure of it or skeleton of it and all the data from the table this is very important to know that once the table is deleted from the information available in the table is also lost forever so be sure whatever you are uh, dropping from the database uh, it is completely removed from the database and also the memory will be freed so this is what the syntax drop table and the table name once you execute this so all the structure of the uh, table along with the data will be removed completely permanently from the database the next statement is truncate so uh, truncate statement will remove all the records from the table so here is the syntax of it truncate table and you have to specify the table name truncate table employee this is the example if you have to remove the records from the uh, table employee so you can execute this truncate so what is the difference between drop and truncate is when we are executing drop statement it will completely uh, remove the table along with its structure and by executing the truncate statement it will remove the records from that particular table the table structure will be there only the records will be removed only flushing of the records will be there when we execute the truncate and when we are executing drop along with the records and the structure of the table will be removed so this is what the difference the next statement is a rename statement suppose you want to rename the table name so here is the uh, syntax of it alter table table name rename to new table name uh, the example of it alter table student was my earlier table name and i want to make it as a student details so i will write this particular query alter table student rename to student details so this is the last statement which is used in a detail statement you have to keep in mind that whenever you are executing the detail statement that are auto committed once you execute the detail statement it can't be rolled back so this is all about the detail statements thank you